we're given an iterative sequence. First member is square root of 2, and subsequently an plus 1 is equal to square root of 2 plus an. So to write it down, a1 is equal to square root of 2, a2 is equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 2, a3 is equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 2. So the subscript is equal to the number of square roots. So in general, a n is equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus all the way down to square root of 2. Exactly n number of square roots here. So first of all, educated guess is that the sequence is monotonically increasing. Right. Observation. First of all, a1 looks like it's smaller than a2, right? So we want to prove, want to prove a1 is smaller than a2. In other words, we want to prove square root of 2 is smaller than square root of 2 plus square root of 2. All we have to do is take the square on both sides. 2 is smaller than 2 plus square root of 2. Obviously true. So this is true, this is true. So first of all, a1 is really smaller than a2, right? How about, sub how about a2? Is it smaller than a3? Right? Let's find out. So we, all we have to, all we want to prove is that the square root of 2 plus square root of 2 is smaller than square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 2. Right. All we have to show is that 2 plus square root of 2 is smaller than 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 2. Right. This after we square both sides. We minus 2 on both sides. We, all we have to show is square root of 2 is smaller than square root of 2 plus square root of 2. All we have to show is that 2 is smaller than 2 plus square root of 2. Right, after we square both sides. And this is obviously true. Right? So really, a2 is smaller than a3. Looks like our intuition is correct. Right, so to prove it rigorously, use mathematical induction. Right? So first of all, when n is equal to, when n is equal to 2, it's true. Right? When n is equal to k, right, we assume to be true. We assume that a, that a k minus 1 is smaller than a k. We assume this is true. So how about when n is equal to k plus 1? Is it also true? So I, we want to show that ak is smaller than ak plus 1. Right? But ak, first of all, is equal to square root of 2 plus ak minus 1. Right? So I, we assume that ak minus 1 is smaller than ak. Right? So first of all, let me say this. Let me say that every an is strictly positive. Right? So every an is strictly positive. This is obvious. Right? So again, we just replace ak minus 1 with ak smaller than square root of 2 plus ak. Right? So this one is smaller than that plus 2, right? Remains. Take the square root, remains, right? So again, this is according to our formula. Right? So this is according, to, if this is ak, then that's ak plus 1. Right? So this is ak plus 1. So really, ak is smaller than ak plus 1. So when n equals k plus 1, really true. So in other words, it must be true for any positive integer n, so that easily we conclude that the sequence a n is really monotonically increasing, right, strictly monotonically increasing. So is it bounded above? Right. So first of all, when 
n is equal to 1, we have a1 is equal to square root of 2, smaller than 2. Of course, bounded above by 2. So the next question is that we assume when n is equal to k, we assume that a k is also bounded above. Right? So how about when n equals k plus 1? So let me check. ak plus 1 is equal to square root of 2 plus ak, right, according to our given uh, condition. So we assume that ak is bounded by 2. So we replace ak with 2. Right? Everything is positive. So take the square root. Right? It re uh, inequality remains. So it's smaller than 2 plus 2. 2. Really? So ak is plus 1 is really bounded above by 2, right? so, which means for every positive integer n, a n is always bounded above by 2 and bounded below by 0. Right? So the sequence, not only the sequence is monotonically increasing, but it is bounded above, so which means it has to have a limit. So the limit is simply, we take the limit on both sides, right? So the limit is a. a is equal to square root of 2 plus a. Right? Then we take the square on both sides. a, two, a squared is equal to 2 plus a. a squared minus a minus 2 is equal to 0. Right? 1, 1, minus 2, 1. So minus 2 minus, minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1, yes. So we have a minus 2 multiplied by a plus 1 is equal to 0. Right? So a is equal to 2 or minus 1. But minus 1 is impossible because every sequence, every member is positive. Right? Every member is, uh, first member is square root of 2. It's increasing so that every member is must be bigger than or equal to square root of 2, right? I've shown to be bounded above by 2, right? Strictly positive, not only positive, but bigger than or equal to square root of 2, right? So in other words, cannot be negative 1, only 2, right? So in fact, instead of using mathematical induction, we can easily see that if we just if we just look at this formula and if we just replace 2 with 4, what's going to happen? Right? So 2 is smaller than 4. So 4 goes in here. So we have square root of 4. That is 2. Right? 2. And I have another 2 in front of it. Square root of 2 plus, uh, for example, two, so square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 2. Right? Every time I replace this 2 with 4, all of a sudden it becomes square root of 4. Right? Square root of 4 and becomes just 2. Right? And 2 plus 2 becomes 4. Right, square root of 4 again becomes 2. And 2 plus 2 becomes 4. Right? Square root of 4 becomes just 2. Right? And 2 plus becomes 4. Square root of 4 is just 2. Right? So by simply replacing this 2 with 4, I've made it bigger, right? Turns out to be 2. So 2 is bigger than an, right? So an is really bounded above by 2.